Hey there, Commanders. This week's community goal is the standard mix of commodities delivery and bounty hunting that we've all come to expect, though the reward this week will be the long-awaited Caustic Sink Launcher. Once the community goal is completed, players will be able to purchase the Caustic Sink on the general market after a waiting period following the completion of the goal itself. This module was leaked a few months back, when it temporarily appeared on the Synthesis Recipe list, so we've known it was coming for a while. By virtue of its name, we had a good idea how it would work. Those speculative details have since been confirmed, making this module basically a heat sink launcher, but with the ability to mitigate caustic damage. From a gameplay perspective, the caustic sink will be much more reliable than current methods of caustic damage management. In the current ecosystem, the only options are to overheat your ship or deploy decontamination limbits. Overheating is the favored strategy among AXI commanders because it is the easier of the two, and cannot be directly countered by a Thargoid ship. It does require hot-running weapons and available heat sinks to be its most effective. Decontamination limpets require ammunition, take extra time, cannot effectively counteract caustic clouds, and are readily countered by incoming fire. They are the better option on cold-running ships, but there are a lot of steps and considerations to effectively using this tool. Many of these issues are related to the limpet mechanic itself, a mechanic which I believe has been in need of a rework for a long time. I expect that the Caustic Sink will be able to replace decontamination limpet controllers in many situations, freeing up space for additional hull or module reinforcement. It's likely that the Caustic Sink can work alongside these other two options if desired, and that may be a viable strategy for Maelstrom-focused ships going forward. We still don't know any details about cost, ammunition capacity, round duration, total protection per discharge, or the resource load this module will impart on host ships. The nature of its utility format does mean that larger hulls will be able to front more of what protection this module provides so I expect to see a lot more large ships diving into the deep once it becomes available. Since this module is AX-based, it's likely that engineering blueprints will be unavailable, continuing the recent trend from Frontier as it relates to new modules. The community goal of note for this week is the commodities goal, since it's the only one which actually controls the release of this new item into the game. The primary reward is early access to the new sink launcher, implied to be exclusive for a short time before the Caustic Sink becomes available for everyone. For this reason, if you really want this early, then the Commodity Goal should have your primary focus. You can find the Commodity Goal in the Duamta system at the Orunmila Megaship. It requests Palladium, Advanced Catalyzers, Heat Sink Interlinks, and Caustic Tissue Samples. This goal is progressing quickly, and is estimated by Inara to complete before the target end date. The reward structure is tier-based. At Tier 2, only the top 25% of participants will get a Caustic Sink. At Tier 3, the top 50% get one Sink, and top 25% get two. These will be placed in storage at the Megaship shortly after goal completion. For maximum progress per unit of time, I recommend focusing on Palladium and Advanced Catalyzers as these are more readily available from a large number of viable ports. I use Inara to locate good buy targets quickly, but I tend to avoid fleet carriers, since carriers tend to price their stock over the profitability margin. These carriers allow players to buy their way to the top of the community goal leaderboard, and are not a good idea for new and intermediate players. Heatsink interlinks are available as a commodity, but are not as common. Though a few good options exist within 100 light years of the community goal station, this can be a problem since it will concentrate goal traffic in these systems, which can make supply and price levels unpredictable, in addition to adding potential congestion for fleet carrier owners. Caustic tissue samples are only available from within Thargoid maelstroms, making them the most dangerous and time-consuming to find. I do not recommend new or intermediate players try and use this method, as currently, Maelstrom environments offer significant disadvantages to non-engineered ships. If your goal is to earn a sink launcher, then abundant commodities are going to be the best option. 
The bounty hunting CG only offers credit bonuses and has no direct impact on the Caustic Sync Launcher. Since these operations can be completed in solo play mode, there really isn't a reason to bother with it aside from personal interest. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.